What is going on and welcome back to another awesome Lonnie's Lizards video. Now in today's little episode video, whatever you want to call it, we are going to the post office. I mean, where else would we be going to pick up two brand new geckos? So I'm going to bring you guys along. Follow me. So we have just touched down. We are at the FedEx Ship Center. I'm going to run in. Hopefully everything is okay with these geckos. Hopefully they arrived perfect. Alright, so as you can see, I came out of that uh, FedEx ship setter jumping up and down. Here we are. We've got our little geckos in there. Now, big shout out to Justin Zeigler. I hope I said that correct. And then also a big shout out to Altitude Exotics because he is actually the one who produced this 100% heterozygous exanthic crested gecko in there. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So, we are finally at the jungle as you guys can all see behind me and i cannot tell you guys how excited i am to open this here we are live animals reptiles to you one of the one of the best uh, reptile shipping companies there are well there is so let's finally let's let's get it cranking move this away so you guys can maybe see a little bit better all right here we are we've got the weapon of choice we've got our knife here First little, uh, first little uh, tape cut right there. I cannot tell all of you how truthfully excited I am to open this. This is a huge, huge project that I've been dying to get into. The Exanthic project. I'm a little late to the party, but what can we say? This last little piece right here. Open up quick. Let's see what we got. Let's grab this. All right. So you guys are gonna be here with my raw reaction. Okay, another little layer playing tricks on us. He's up top. Oh my goodness! Lily White is sitting up on top. Let's take a look at this male. What a dark face. Wow. Look at that. Look at that gecko. Let's see if you guys can uh there we go. Wow. Oh my goodness. The contrast on this oh my goodness, he's a jumper. They're just like every single just like every single crusty gecko I've ever dealt with in my life. Oh. Wow. There we go. Now we're focused. Come on. Crazy, dude. Look at the contrast on that gecko, everybody. That is a, what I want to believe, maybe like a tri-color lily white. Definitely. Look at how beautiful. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the solid dorsal, but still super duper beautiful. Such a beautiful... Oh my goodness, man. There we go. Sit still on that paper towel so I can get a good shot on you, buddy. Look at how beautiful. Back into it. So we're just throwing him back at his little container just for the meantime. I'm gonna go set up their, their cages and whatnot, but look at that shot. He's like, let me out. Let me out. Look at how red the underside of his chin is. He is awesome. Like I said, I don't know if you guys remember my cappuccino female. He is going to be going with my cappuccino female to make these frappuccinos. Look at that. Crazy looking colors down there. So, so awesome. Just an overall very beautiful gecko. You can, you can tell... The quality and the care that Justin has for his... Oh my... Oh my... Speechless. I am speechless. Just a wee little guy. 
So this right here is a hundred percent heterozygous. I don't know if any of you guys learned about that in school, but that means he is a hundred percent carrying the genetic for Xanthic. So that is the 100% heterozygous. He's so dark, it's like almost hard for my camera to, to really catch. Come on. There we go. That is the 100% heterozygous for Exanthic Crested Gecko. Absolute stunning little dude. But we are going to be setting them up not really messing with them letting them settle in for the most part a very nice looking gecko though to say the least you guys so everybody has just been chilling it is the next day i let them just acclimate to their new environment overnight I need to get some plants. It is looking very bare inside of the cage right now, but I just do this for a little bit during quarantine. Let them sit in there, you know, be able to look at their fecals, be able to check out their poop and all that. Just in case, of course, you never know when you're dealing with live animals. They've just been chilling for the most part. I'm gonna show you guys my basic little quarantine setup. I need to go to the store and grab some fake plants. I feel like I never stopped buying fake plants, but let's skip that part. Let me just show you their basic little setups. So I put them in a tall little zoom ed. So here is the het exanthic. Just chilling in his little moss box. Look at how cute he is. Come on, focus. Absolutely adorable in there. He's just hanging out. I think he's actually about to shed because his feet are not that sticky right now. And then here is the stunning male lily white. Come here. Look at how beautiful that gecko is. Honestly stunning. And they've all been eating. They ate for the first night, so that is a very, very good sign. And like I said, big shout out to Justin Zeigler. And of course, a big shout out to Brian over at Altitude Exotics. Make sure you guys go and check them out. I mean, Brian's absolutely killing it. He's that man is swimming in gecko money. <laughs> Let's just say that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed most of this video. It's a, it's a pretty basic video, but I know a lot of people do like the unboxings. Anyways, that'll wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I enjoy it. I always love getting new animals. Lonnie's Lizards is out of here, everybody. Tune in next week for another banging video. And also, you guys have been absolutely killing it with the love that I'm receiving on the comments, all the likes, the views, the subscribers. You guys are going crazy. Keep doing you guys, and I'm going to keep doing me. Lonnie's Lizards is out of here, and I'll see you guys next week.